Hi. Hello, guys. I'm Rohan. And I'm Miguel. And today, we are going to be making kind of an airplane shooter simulator thing. It's going to be a game where you can move an airplane up and down using your mouse. And you can shoot different enemies that come your way. Or you can dodge them. And the whole point is to last as long as you can. So, uh, with all that said, this is going to be a two-part series, um, so make sure to stick around for the second part. That'll be coming out sometime later next week. Uh, anyways, let's just uh, go ahead and get started. So, create a new project. Now, you may have noticed that we have some sprites here already made for us. Um, we're going to leave a link in the description for the art. Um, it's a project. All you have to do is drag these into the backpack right here and like this and then you'll see it loads and then uh <coughs> the sprite is here and then you can go into a different project drag this out and put it in so uh now that you have the sprites let's go ahead and start writing some code all right so um now the first thing we're gonna do is name our project i'm calling mine battle plane but uh you can pretty much call it whatever you want um here we are, so we're going to drag out a when green flag clicked. Under that, we're going to drag out a forever loop. Inside of the forever loop, we're going to drag out a go to X and Y. Then, we're going to say go to X. Let's show this right. Go to uh. X 182 and Y mouse Y. Now, if we go ahead and start this uh, green flag, oh shoot, wait, we're going to say negative 182, that is my bad. Now, if we go ahead and start, you can see that the plane is going to our mouse. Now, really quick, something we can do is just make it point towards the mouse pointer. And now you're not gonna see anything immediately. I mean, the only thing you really will see is this, but uh, if you wanted to make it look like really cool, you can actually, we're going to set X position. I mean, we're going to set Y position to, uh, we're going to drag out these three blocks right here. This is just a smoothing algorithm to make it go smoothly to the mouse. So we're going to say, we're going to put the minus, the divide, the minus in the first input for the divided by, and then put that in the second input for the plus. It should look like this. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Then put this in the Y, put this mouse Y into the third, I mean, into the second <laughs> input, put Y position in the first two, and divided by a prime number. And now we can see that the plane is smoothly pointing towards the mouse. And we can even do a little flip here. Pretty cool. Now onto the bullets. The bullets, oh, I forgot to make those. We don't have a sprite for those because it, the bullet sprite is very simple. All it is is just a circle. You can zoom in, and I like to make mine about two grid squares large. Okay, and that's pretty good. And you can just make it gray. All right, do you want to explain, or do you know how you know this? Yes, right? I know how. So, drag a one green flag, click, go to plane, and hide. Now drag out a forever loop and an if statement. And drag out a when I started or er, a when I start as a clone and the create a clone of myself. Put the create a clone of myself inside of the if statement. And go to sensing and do a when mouse down. You can make it so when you press a key like space or S for a shoe, it makes a bullet. But we're just going to use mouse down. So, now, under when I start as a clone, drag out a repeat until touching edge. Drag out a re repeat until touching edge. And inside of that, drag out a move blank steps. You can make the value greater for a faster movement or a slower for a slower movement. What? Slower for a slower movement? or less for a slower movement. We're gonna keep it at 10. Now, if we test out the game and we... Oh, oh yeah, we have to make it show. Yeah. 
and we make sure to make it show. Make sure to put the show underneath the one I started to clone. Let's test it out. Uh, why is it? Oh wait, uh -oh. we also have to make it go to plane forever. And now it should work. There we go. But when the bullets touch the edge, they should disappear. So under the repeat until touching edge, put a delete this clone. And put a wait zero seconds. This will be useful later. If you want the bullets to not be a machine gun, which we don't, you can put under a create a clone myself, wait 0.1 seconds. That way, it's slightly delayed. We're going to experiment with some values to make it optimal. Now we have our bullets, but we have nothing to shoot them at. Time to add our enemies. So, let's go into the bird sprite. In the bird sprite, drag out a wedding green flag click and a go to block. Make it go to a pick random x value, or a pick, no, pick random y value. Make it go to a pick random y value. Make it 170 to negative 170. The reason it is not 180 and negative 180 is because when the bullets will be shot, they will be touching the edge when you try and hit the bird, making the bullets just disappear. Now, for the X, make it 300 so they're off the screen. And make sure to hide them. Now, Drag out a when I start as a clone, and a forever loop, and a create a clone, and a wait block. Now, it's going to make it wait around one second and then create another clone of themselves. Now, under the when I start as a clone, uh, make it repeat 10, and drag out a repeat until. Blood, it is literally right under the wait until bro. The reason we have the repeat 10 first is because if we wrote repeat until touching edge, it would already be touching the edge. So we have to make it so it's not touching the edge. In the repeat 10, do a change X by minus 10. Put the forever loop under the hide. Now, put a repeat until under there. And now put a touching edge. And now also put a change X by minus 10. You can also tamper with these values to see how fast or slow you want it. And make sure to put a show block at the top. And now delete this, or actually no. Also, in addition to the repeat until touching edge, do a repeat until touching edge or touching plane. We actually messed up. When I start as a clone, you have to put that script that we just put right there. Otherwise, it's going to be the same value every single time. Now, if we test it out, it is going in different positions and they are moving. Now, let's make it so that the birds can get rid of a life when it's touching the plane. We're going to put in the bird sprite, we're going to say, if touching plane, then let's make a new variable and call it lives. Make sure to make it for all sprites. Set lives to, uh, oh wait, no. Change lives by minus one. Then, back in the plane sprite, we're going to set lives to however many lives you want there to be. So, we're going to say five. Okay, now that we have the lives, there is, there is no way for the player to die. I mean, wait. Now that we have the lives, we'll come back to that later. But, let's make it so that there can, there can be more birds on the screen at once by making them go faster as the game progresses. 
Again, in the bird sprite, we're going to come back to this one green flag clicked. Okay, so let's make the birds get faster as the game progressive. Pro progresses. So make a new variable called speed. Then, when green flag clicked, set speed to one. Then, in make another forever loop under a when green flag clicked, and say forever. Wait ten. Se wait, wait thirteen seconds. Then change speed by zero point. One. Oh no, I feel like that's no change speed by 0 0.5. I mean 0 0.0 no. What's one half of 0 0.1? We're going to say Wait 10 seconds, then change speed by negative 0 0.5, wait, 0 0.05. Now, this may seem like a very small increment to change the speed by, but as you will see later, the game, well, as you play the game for longer, if we make the speed change by too fast, then it will eventually lead to the game being unplayable. So. We will just say, wait, speed, seconds, in the forever loop and under the green flag click. Let's hide these variables and let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see if the birds get any faster. Let's actually show the speed variable, just so we can measure how fast this is going. Now we can see that they're waiting 0.85 seconds before spawning a new sprite. That's pretty much what the speed variable means. Let's speed this up. Let's go ahead and set speed to 0.25. What would that look like? And now you can see the birds are going way faster. If you want, you can make the speed variable change by a bigger number to make them go faster quicker. Which I'm probably going to do. Now let's make a live system. Okay guys, so you may notice that it says negative right here, but that doesn't matter because they're all just going at zero seconds i mean there's no such thing as a negative second i mean unless, unless you run backwards yeah it's like there's a scientific breakthrough we just came across anyway uh, all right yeah let's go ahead and create the lives okay so let's make the lives again we're going to make a dev screen as that is very simple all it is is just a square on the screen covering the whole screen saying you died and then we say, click green flag to restart. All right, so now in the dev screen, we're going to say when green flag clicked, go to zero, zero and hide. And then we're going to say forever if, uh, and we're gonna say forever if, lives are less than one then show then stop all okay and now we're going to go back here and make the lives yeah and actually make the lives work so in the plane i mean no in the bird sprite right here Actually, we already made the lives. I mean, no, we didn't. We're going to say if touching plane, then change lives by negative one. And then in the plane, we're going to say set lives to five. And okay, actually put this if in between the wait zero seconds and delete this clone. All right, so we have to make the score. Oh yeah, now we have to make the score 
All right, so in the plane sprite, we're going to go back to this forever loop and just say and make a new variable. Let's call it score. We're going to say change score by 100 forever. And then when green fly click, set score to zero. Now we're going to go back to the bird sprite. I mean, yeah, back to the bird sprite and say if touching no 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 we are we're going to say if touching my days we're going to put this in between under the wait zero seconds as well and say if touching bullet change score by 10 i mean by 50 and now we should have a working score and live system. So as you can see, the score goes up. And then when we shoot birds, the score also goes up too. You can also... That's, that's going very, very fast. Um, let's actually say... Um, let's get the... Let's go back to the plane and, and make a new forever loop. And, and remove this. And say, wait zero seconds, <laughs> then change score by 100. And now we have the score. And if you want, you can also make it so that whenever the bird touches the plane, we're going to change the score by negative 10,000. And uh, we're also going to say in the depth screen, um, if, duplicate this and say if, Score. Put this above the if statement here, and we're going to say if score is less than one, then set lives to zero. And let's test it out. Let's set the score to zero. And as you can see, we died. This is a very rare occurrence, but yeah. Okay, how do I? What the heck? And Rowan broke the game. Starting. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to actually say wait 0.5 seconds, then we're going to continue all the code and everything should be working fine. Uh, yeah, so if you hit a bird before you have 10,000 points, you will die. And that's pretty cool. Oh, don't be bad. Yep. Dot com, like Rowan is. I'm not Amina. bad. So, we're going to actually save clouds for the polishing part. Um, and that will be in next episode, uh, where we will be doing polishing, uh, adding the clouds, particles, and, particles, and maybe a, a menu. Thank you guys so much for watching it. You guys definitely use some scratch abilities.